I've just parked the car. We've got this nice view over here. Got a foreground shore, and then you've got the nice reflections from the trees in the distance. Got our left and right hand borders naturally there already. So it should make for a nice painting. The water levels are a lot higher. We've had a bit of flooding recently. I'm going to head back to the car now and start on the painting. I've got all my usual kit here. Colours, ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. Little water jar down here. And I've got the three brushes. But 99% is the large hake. And then the uh, 15 by 11 Fabriano 130 pound watercolour paper. So I'm going to start, as usual, clean water, all over the paper, give it a good soak, and then straight into the raw sienna, all the way down to the bottom, and then clean the brush. Ultramarine, that's a bit wet actually, I'm going to take some of that water off on the tea towel, back into the ultramarine and then just do a little, little see the bits you see around the blue are the clouds, you're sort of painting negative shapes and then reflecting some of that blue into the water and that, that's all we need for the sky just a nice simple background to work with then I'm going to not clean the brush I'm just going to stay with it raw sienna same two colours and then third of the way up Start putting in these distant trees on the far banks. And I'm also, while I'm doing it, I'm going to pull the reflections down as well at the same time. Main reason being. Obviously without the hair dryer I'd have to wait for it to dry and then re-wet it and then put the reflections in. But this way, as long as the paper's had a good soak, it should still be damp by the time you get round to doing this. So you don't have to you don't have to wait for it to dry, you can just get straight on with the reflections. And then that'll just As I get to the two ends I like to just make the trees a little bit higher, it just helps frame it a little bit better. Pull down those reflections, remember to pull them down as, as low as the thing is high. And then just a little... I'll just give the brush a quick clean. I don't want too much water on it, so I'm just going to take the excess off on the tea towel. And I'm going to go into the lemon yellow. And then, just where I can see the banks of green on the far side. Just little bits of uh, grass popping up between the trees and the bushes. Maybe just reflect a little bit of that into the water as well. Maybe you could also do with a bit of a bit of brown just to get a dark colour, just to create the effect of a bit of a bit of mud on the far side. Very delicately reflect that down as well, just very, very light. That's enough of that. 
and then while it's still damp just use a little finger and just suggest a f just the odd tree trunk here and there but keep it subtle and then obviously the reflection I'll do for that. I'm just going to clean the brush again. Now the tree on the left hand side, what should we do? A bit of lemon yellow, lemon yellow, ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey, and that can just very just keep changing it and bring that down. Bring that down. Like while I'm doing that, I might even switch to the number three rigger and put in a few burnt umber, ultramarine, make a dark mix, and then. A few little, few little twigs and branches. Clean the brush, give it a scrub, scuff up the ends, and then just put some. Just a few leaves on the edges of these. A bit darker so it stands out. Lemon yellow, Payne's grey, and then just the ends in again. I'm going to go for a dark colour, ultramarine, burnt umber, and then right in front of this one we've got this big dark trunk, and this is going right the way up. And there's another one right next to it. It's a bit of a bravery test. I'm going to stick a few. And then in front of that, again I'm going to put some more leaves. Clean the brush, scuff it up again. And then into your dark colours. down to the foot, foot of the uh, tree trunk there. So that's that side. Could do with some on the other side. Bring in a few more of these. In fact, come right up to the top. I'm just alternating between ultramarine, lemon yellow, and pines grey. Just a slightly damp brush, because you don't want it otherwise, if the brush is too wet, it'll just splodge all over the place. Just bring them down. Maybe a few. Back to the rigger, back into the dark, burnt umber, 
ultramarine pop a few little branches in a bit more water you need plenty of water with this rig out otherwise the, uh, the paint soon runs out that'll do before I overdo that and then uh, just need to scuff it up again Come back a bit too much, too neat. I mean, same colours again. Ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey. Just bring that right the way down. There's a few more. Maybe introduce a little bit of bit of light red into it, just to vary it a little bit. Again, I can do this because the brush is very dry, very dry now, so I can get these nice effects. Right then, so we're now down to the bottom. So burnt umber. I haven't touched the brush. I've just left it as it is. Burnt umber. Ultramarine, and then just to see how dry it is. See how dry I can I can do that. It's hardly coming off the brush. Just keep changing. Changing these colours, just leaving it really dry still, just to see what sort of effects I can get really. Bit of raw sienna. Lemon yellow, pines grey. Some really dark bits, ultramarine. Darken it up. And then I can just see the odd little pebble and, and bit of stone. So just make sure I've got a nice darker area. And then I'll go in with the uh, with the card. Now just a quick scrape. See how dry it is, it's, it's hardly uh This one's working a little bit better. Again, don't, don't, don't want to overdo this. That'll do, I think. And then switch back to the rigger. And there's just a few little. She's sticking up. A few little uh, bits of grass on the bank here. That same colour. There's always birds flying around. I'll just stick a couple of birds. One there, one there, and then another one up there. And I think all that's left to do on this one is pop my signature on. It's, it's still a bit wet, so I'll I'll pop my signature on later when it's dry. If I show you my palette, you can see very little water I use. Most of the water I use is actually within the brush itself, so I don't have pools of water swirling around the palette. So th this is the finished painting. Just have a quick look out the window and see the view I was working with. So there's the big tree trunks that I used to frame it on the left hand side. Put in very simply using the the side of the hake. And you see the foreground there, just just very simply put in up. 
Let's try to make it a little bit more interesting. And there, the reflection of the trees on the far shore into the water. Just put in very simply before the paper dries. Well, I hope you like that. Don't be afraid to have a go. Remember, if you make a mistake, just turn the paper over and start again. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.